Law enforcement authorities are again investigating another hit and run case in Aiken County. The victim is 85 year old Margaret Johnson, who was found dead next to her mailbox. Our Logan Gay has more on the investigation. Margaret Ann Johnson was simply checking her mail on a Friday afternoon when she was struck and killed by a vehicle. Uh, Mrs. Johnson was standing near her mailbox on Highway 47, approximately three and a half miles east of the city of Aiken. And we believe that a vehicle uh, made contact with uh, Mrs. Johnson. The incident happened on Friday, June 10th. And so far, no witnesses have come forward with any information to aid the investigation. Anything at all we would appreciate, even if you think it's insignificant, sometimes those insignificant or seemingly insignificant details turn out to be very important. So we would ask that you would call, uh, if you have any information at all, call the Aiken County Sheriff's Office or the Minnesota State Patrol. The Minnesota State Patrol says it's possible that the driver might not know their vehicle hit Ms. Johnson. Someone may not have known that they made contact with Mrs. Johnson. So this isn't something that was necessarily obvious to the driver. One of Johnson's neighbors says that due to high speed traffic and the lack of a shoulder on the road, getting their daily mail can be a dangerous endeavor. I could see where it'd be easy to get hit. It's been close for me a few times. The Minnesota State Patrol is encouraging pedestrians to be vigilant this summer and to walk or run in the opposite direction of the flow of traffic. Not everybody is always uh, seeing you when you are walking. Um, walk against the flow of traffic. Always look at the vehicles coming at you. Always try to make eye contact with the driver. Until someone comes forward, the investigation continues. In Aiken, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Minnesota State Patrol is asking anyone who may have witnessed the accident or had seen Margaret Johnson on Friday, June 10th, between the hours of noon and 1 p.m., please contact the numbers on the screen. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.